You might live in Ohio if your current shoes you're wearing vary from a boot to Crocs to flip-flops. <laughs> show you all how big Miss Nona Nuno is getting. Her big girl with crazy hair. She won't come out on her own, so let's see how she does. Are you ready? My girls have kind of been on strike, and I think it's because they haven't been allowed to, <laughs> to free range. We've got a little molting going on there. Yeah, go go play with your sissies. Yeah. I have to keep a close eye on her. <laughs> she's like, wow, it's a big wide world. This is the first time she's been out in the yard by herself. So, get going, girly girls. Well, good morning, YouTube friends and family, and welcome to today's edition of the Wellness Homesteader. It is such a pretty fall day here. Can y'all see? Yeah. So, I thought I would, number one, come and let the girls out for a bit. And... It looks like it's just gonna be a humdinger of a day. I'm in outfit number one. <laughs> so, start out in jeans and a flannel and a t-shirt, but flip-flops, but I'll probably end up in uh, shorts and a t-shirt if it gets close to 80. So, I'm gonna let the girls run for a while. And you may notice behind me here, uh, got a sheet out, what's that all about? Well, guys, I'm going to try to clean some of the loofah. A lot of you have asked, well, what happened to your loofah? Well, actually, nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that a little bit today. Let me take you out to the garden and show you what I've got going on because most of them are still green. I have a few that are yellow. What I've learned is you can pull them. I've only pulled yellow ones, but they turn brown in the end, and I'll show you that in a minute. I do want to show you all I have a beautiful... <laughs> spread of mint and lemon balm that's kind of had its second cut and come again. Girls are up there under the tree just digging. I've got a stellar sample of a, well, there's Mr. Squirrel Buddy, a dandelion, <laughs> but that's not what we're out here for. So this is kind of the status of what my loofah and my birdhouse gourds look like. So you'll notice some are yellow. There's one I missed that's completely brown. Some are yellowish green. Some are densely green. So what I plan to do is harvest anything that has a degree of color on it because we've had several freezes and it hasn't hurt anything. I do want to harvest my birdhouse gourds. And from what I've read, it's when the stem turns brown, which we are there. So let me get these harvested. I'm really hoping the beauty of this shows up. So the sun is coming around and hitting this maple. It is not my maple, it's the neighbor's maple, but it is absolutely beautiful. And I have some color too as well. Miss Winona. <laughs> what are you doing, girly girl? She is so stinking cute. I could just eat her up. Um, She's getting along well with the others. She's laying very regularly. So I'm hoping the other girls, once they get to be out quite a bit today and hopefully tomorrow, they'll start giving me some eggs because uh, yeah, they've been on strike for sure. They're probably having a hen meeting over there. Yeah, that lady, she always wants something from us now. She's wanting more eggs. What are you doing, my egg eater, Miss Violet? Crazy girl. So, if my dearly departed daddy was still alive, he'd say, your britches are plumb wore out. <laughs> and once my uncle Arky, God rest his soul too, I had my fingernails painted black, you know, that was a thing for a while. And he was like, well, you done went and mashed every one of your fingers. You know, it's funny the, the country terms, you know, that stick with you as, as really sweet memories. And I will share with you all, um, 
all of the brothers, sisters, and spouses of such on my dad's side have all departed, and there were 10 of them. Um, on my mom's side, uh, her oldest brother passed at a very young age in his 50s, and she still has one living brother who's 93, and my Aunt Louise passed away yesterday. So, um, they live out of state, and so I'm gonna say, don't have any arrangements, but if you just keep the family in your thoughts and prayers, um, because of the distance, I can't say that I was super close to my mom's side of the family, but I, I still know, you know, firsthand, my Aunt Louise has two sons, and adult sons, of course, um, and I think she was in her 90s too as well. Don't have any details about anything whatsoever, but she she and Uncle Scotty were at um, my, my mom's funeral. Guys, it's really windy today, so there's acorns and leaves, just pretend you don't hear it. Um, and if I seem distracted, y'all, it's not because I'm not interested in doing the video. I definitely am, although I ate too much breakfast. Um, I treated myself and I had my very favorite uh, biscuits, gravy, and fried potatoes, totally not on a diabetic diet, from a little uh, coffee shop in town called Beans and Cream. So anyway, um, you know, more to come on that, I guess. So, y'all, I've never grown birdhouse gourds. Um, some of them have like, where something tried to eat through the skin, but they have pretty sides too. And I know people will, I have to do the research, cut the bottom off, take the guts out, which I will do. I want to grow these again, so I want to seed safe. And y'all, if you hear the banging and I seem a little jumpy, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm still jumpy since my little escapade with the strange feller that nobody seems to know who they are. So let me, let me grab my prime specimen and my nippers here. Oh. Well, hello, Jolene. Jolene is kind of a mama's girl because Fancy Ray's like, I'm in charge of all of this. <laughs> you know, because she was sick and I packed her around after she got hurt by the fox. Um, Violet has been kind of territorial over Nona, which I'm trying not to call the baby, but she's my baby, aren't you, girl? And <laughs> earlier I wasn't filming. I was like, are you my mom's baby? And Violet got so mad and I'm like, Wait, did you understand that? So, chickens have so much personality. So what you doing, Nona? I've been so worried to let her out, but her interest is in mimicking her big sisters. So wherever they go, she goes. So here's my prize specimen, guys. And again, it's got a few little weirdnesses, but this side's real pretty. So I would say for a first time, I just, had some seeds. I, I think I bought them at Walmart. Only the finest. But since you don't eat them, I hope we can make something out of this. So I'll do my research and report back. What I do know quite a bit about, and you know, I gotta get off my feet, <laughs> is loofah. Now, if y'all remember, I did a video last year on prepping loofah. I must have watched 11 videos on how to do it. And people were just like, it's so easy. And they were just like, Ooh, it's no problem. It's super simple. And they were just peeling them. And I'm like, "Use it. if you remember, knives and scissors and chopsticks. And I was like, I, I don't know what's going on here, but mine are nothing like that. I think I'm going to save this for the clean sponges. So this is one of the first ones. So this is what the inside of a loofah looks like. So if you've ever gone to um, a bath and body type store, a lot of times they will have the big loofah that are, you know, the big loofah. The way I have found best to use them is, I like to cut them in small sections, cut them open, lay them out. I also cut the spines in between they make the best dish scrubbers and so one of the reasons that a dish scrubber gets beyond itself is it catches up like um food 
And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try putting these in the dishwasher. I rinse them out as well as I can. I put them in the dishwasher. It's a perfect solution. So it's not like the peel is gonna hurt the deck. I just thought it would keep seeds from falling through. Now, I don't know if I can pull these strings or not. This one's pretty dry now. Let me see if I can pull this one. Oh. Yeah. So as you see, the seeds are falling out, which is perfect. And when I uh, got the seeds last year, my word, it was like a whole thing. Now, the seed that you're looking for, can y'all see that? It's a little black seed. It, whoop, where'd it go? It has a little silky membrane on it. It looks like a piece of saran wrap. So you would of course want to rub that off. When I had my soap making class, um, of course I knew a couple of the ladies and they were like, oh, how'd your loofah turn out? So I was able to gift them each a loofah. And, and primarily, I mean, how many loofahs can you really use? I don't use them to wash my body, but you certainly can. So I was able to see cheer with all of them. And I was really happy to do that. Plus give them a loofah to sample and show them how I used mine. So a loofah is a gourd. It's more of a tropical plant. That's why I think I'm having a little more trouble getting them ripe before first frost. I did direct sow them. I did not um, seed start indoors. Next year I might. Where's the baby? Or where's Miss Nona? She's okay. She's over by the coop. <laughs> I, I worry a lot, guys. Um, so in tropical countries, for the full green ones, they actually can't eat the flesh. And they said it's sort of like a bitter gourd. Well, I don't plan to eat them, although they are grown organically. Um, I'm more interested in using them in more of a washing application. They do better in a tropical climate, so I would have thought, yo, we had one of the, I think we had one of the hottest summers on record since like the 18, late 1800s here. I hope you can still hear me. And y'all, I noticed, uh, I got a comment that, you know, I'm hard to hear. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyone who's hard of hearing, not so much the volume, I think it's the pitch of my voice, always has hard time hearing me as well in real life, and I'm not suggesting that person was hard of hearing. Just turn your volume up is the best thing I know. I tried using an external camera, and it sounded like, hi, this is Kim calling from a barrel over Niagara Falls. It was awful, and it might have been the quality of barrel. Okay, that's a nice big piece. So... There's still more seeds. Oh yeah, here they come. And what I found is even when I was cleaning them, now the chopstick method did work. It might have been kind of like um girl method, but it did work. But I'm not worried if I don't get every single seed out because uh, we have to wash these. Now there's a couple ways. The greener you harvest them, the whiter the gourd. And I'm gonna try to show you that because I dropped one, which is no big deal, while I was harvesting. And y'all, all these seeds are, are mature. Um, if you get a white or a gray seed, don't, don't replant that. I'm really tickled, like that's enough for the next couple years. So some people soak them in bleach, chlorine bleach. And y'all, I am not a perfect, like I do everything on natural. I use bleach, bleach good. Bleach kills germs, right? I don't try to see how much bleach I can absorb through my skin. I don't know if I really wanna bleach these. So last year, what I did was I used hydrogen peroxide. However, I was harvesting them from much, much greener. Therefore the sponge was much, much, oh, here comes some much, much whiter. So the color for me, I don't, I don't care if they're purple polka dotted. It's not a thing. Okay, let's see if I can. Can y'all see that little seed? How oh, it's kind of gray. We don't want that one. 
and I have a whole bunch of, I'll show you here in just a second, the little skins that are on. Here you go. I'll just let them fly on the seeds. So yeah, number one done. So, more seeds to come. So I'm just taking my time, y'all. I tell you, I was watching Homestead Tessie this morning, and y'all probably get tired of hearing me talk about Homestead Tessie, but I decided to do YouTube because um, Homestead Tessie had a lot of wisdom that I didn't have, and I was so grateful to her, but I also knew I had a set of information that maybe had more of a medical slant or a southern slant that I thought would be helpful, and my son was constantly like, how do you make this? How do you make that? I need a recipe for this or that. So I thought it would be a good legacy to leave behind. Anyway, she was doing a video. And y'all, this one may be beyond itself, but we're going to see. I missed this. I didn't see it. And it was gorgeous, y'all. I mean, she was talking about... Uh, grocery shopping and depression and, and such. But it was such lovely scenery and all that. And y'all, as much as I enjoy those type of videos, I'm not very good at them. So maybe I will get better with time. Like I said, I'm not disinterested. I'm just watching the chickens. Miss Violet a few minutes ago, she, she is molting. She molts a lot. Um, and I think why Nona's molting, well, I know she is a little bit because she's growing and she's putting on her full coat. <sighs> she did this crazy, I'm going to fly. I haven't trimmed their wings in two years <laughs> or a year and a half probably. And I probably need to do that, but they don't really try to fly. But it scared me to death. I thought a hawk had gotten one of the chickens. So I'm like, we don't fly in this dojo. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I hope y'all are laughing with me. I was not a helicopter mom, believe it or not. Um, I really tried not to be that way to my son. I tried to let him, you know, grow up and experience life like we all want to do. You know, I'm going to try something this time, y'all, since I didn't have any dry ones before. I'm going to pull one of the strings and then see if I can... Yeah, not so much. <laughs> it, it, it is a little bit of effort, but I just want to show you. Now, this one looks like it's camo. This one's significantly whiter, even though the skin is brown. But this one I just harvested a few minutes ago. So, yeah, my parents were extraordinarily strict. <laughs> um, I never ever thought about crossing my parents or being disobedient or anything like that. My son was a little bit on the rotten side. Um, he's a busy kid, I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, he doesn't have ADD or ADHD, but he was a busy kid. And my mom having girls, whenever I'd have been over there, she'd be like, you never gave me a moment's trouble because Ben was like, you know, climbing the furniture and being, being a boy. All right. So I'm going to keep shucking and picking. Oh, I wanted to show you. I dropped one of the green ones. I think the easiest way is get it started and then just run your thumb over it, under it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a nice one, too. I don't know if I will ever get some like I see other homesteaders in the South get. We simply do not have a long enough growing season here. I can't believe we're going to... I know not every state does it, so if you're not in a state that does it, you're so lucky. Every year they tease us and say, well, this may be the last year for daylight savings time beginning and ending. So daylight savings time ends... So instead of waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning, I'll be awake at 1 o'clock in the morning. So like yesterday I was really determined. I'm like, I'm going to I'm gonna stay up. So I was like, I'm going to lay on the couch. I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to relax, but I'm not going to go to bed. 
<laughs> I woke up at like midnight and I was still on the couch. So I'd been asleep for hours. So I'll just be tired for a while. And about the time I get used to it, they'll go ahead and change it back. Okay, here's number two. So the first one's a little bigger. Sorry guys, just keeping an eye. Uh, what's going on? Let me go check the chickens. That was an odd bok bok. Ugh. Somebody took somebody's worm. <laughs> oh, hurts to be on my knees. Okay guys, so here, I'm hoping you can see, is one that is just now starting to turn, but it's, it's kind of squishy, but it's super juicy and it has like a, like almost a sap that you have to soak out of the sponge so what I think I'm going to do um I don't want to waste these y'all uh they're they, I think they make very good gifts they're also very practical if you price a scrub daddy or a scrub mama <laughs> um outrageously expensive so I think what I'm going to do is just keep harvesting. Um, today and tomorrow is going to be in the upper 70s, near 80. Then it goes down in the 50s for several days. Then it pops back up. So I think I'm okay leaving the ones that are just solid green. Um, and this one is loaded with seeds. Y'all can't really see that, but I'll show you here in a second. It shook like a Morocco. And I don't think this color is off-putting, personally. So, you know, they're, they're all slightly different. So I got most of them. Let me show you how many seeds you can get from one. It's amazing. I think as consumers, sometimes we're so accustomed to things that are processed that, uh... Sorry guys, I'm kind of paying attention to my camera where it's out front. That's something that looks more natural. It may not be everybody's cup of tea and that's fine. You can bleach them. I bleached some of mine last year, but more from the standpoint of trying to get rid of all of that gumminess and of course all of the flesh that was still on there. So yeah, a huge handful. Like one loofah probably produces enough seed. I probably got 20 out of just that loofah. So I'm going to keep working here. Three more completely dry ones to work on. Check on my girly girls, make sure there's no worm fights going on. And I'll bring you back to give you some final thoughts. Oh, I am Excuse the way my hair looks. So that was fun. I definitely enjoyed it. I discovered something. The girls are a little scared. It is very, very windy here today, which was what was forecast. They're a little scared of the wind. And so they put themselves up. I'm like, wait. You could have free range for a couple hours more, but no, you want to go back in your coop. So that's a good thing that they've gotten accustomed and they feel safer. They had a couple freakouts with the wind, you know, whack, 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 and wing flapping, but they'll calm down. I don't think they've forgotten what happened for sure. So uh, still no sign of the fox here. Um, no recent sign next door, but it doesn't mean it's gone. And so I'm not going to count on that. So what did I do with my loofah? I put the partially ripened ones on like a baker's rack to so that the air could circulate. And I'm trying something. On one of the more ripened ones, I cut off the ends. I wanna see if it will dry out faster. And I'm instead of cutting them all down, I wanna see how those do. And, you know, if I learn any tips and tricks, I'll be sure to share it down the road. Birdhouse gourds. Um, 
yeah, there's a plethora of information out there. And honestly, y'all, I'm not, I'm not an expert. I'm not even sure exactly how I'm going to cut into them. From what I understand, most people cut a hole in the bottom and scrape the guts out like you would a pumpkin. After you have the hiccups. <laughs> And then because they have a tendency to rot, soak them in a bleach and water solution for five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to do a little bit more research before I jump into it. I certainly don't want to ruin the three that I have. If I do, it's not the end of the world, but there's lots of YouTube videos and I'm ready to take a rest. So you notice something different about my table here? Yeah, my, um, I did finish my house that I was working on and I think... I'm going to start. I have two Christmas ones here. And this one is called Cube, Ma Cube Mana. C-U-B-E-M-A-N-A. -A. And, uh, sorry. This is uh, about 1,100 pieces, I think. But you can configure this three different ways. So I took a look. I like the broader look. Um, I don't like them as tall. This is also nice too. They're all nice. I like them all. So I'll probably try to build this one. I have never used this brand. Wait, what's that? Oh, stickers. Okay. Um, but the directions look nice and clear. It is a little bit smaller. <clears throat> so, and it says ages six and up. So I think I can do it. The packages are labeled really clearly. So I'll have to share with you as I go along. And of course I have my National Lampoon's house yet to build. So I might do a little building today. Um, I like to get my work done in the morning and I had quite a few things to do today and I am so pleased that I got it all done. And now I've earned my rest, so I'm gonna go take it. Y'all, I plan to see you on Saturday. Today is Tuesday and I will say, for those of you who celebrate Happy Halloween, Happy Halloween, whatever you want to call it, why didn't I dress up and do a Halloween special? Well, because I know there are a lot of people that are offended by it. And while I'm not going to change what I personally do that I believe is fine, I also don't want to put something out that people are going to be like, oh, why did she do that? So, um... This is as scary as it gets, <laughs> and uh, you'll be seeing this on Halloween day. I've never had a, a trick-or-treater in the, this is my 23rd Halloween here. Never had a trick-or-treater number one. So, um, yeah, it'll be a quiet evening for me. But depending on funeral arrangements for my aunt, because I will have to travel, <sighs> I may or may not see you on Saturday. I just don't. No, it, it's too soon for them to have made any arrangements. And I remember that with my mom as well. It took them a while to even get us in. And then the day we picked, we couldn't do because uh, they were booked. <laughs> like, well, I won't be disrespectful, but I'm like, how is a funeral home booked? I'm like, that's not something you can kind of predict. But I'm sure they have like a certain number they can comfortably serve. So I hope you enjoyed today. I certainly did. Frankie is thoroughly enjoyed laying by the back door, watching the leaves come down. And I'll bet money he's in my chair. We had a little put him up this morning because he didn't want to get out of the chair and I wanted to sit down a little bit. But I'm going to go rest and just kind of enjoy the after rest of the afternoon. I am still stuffed from breakfast. Next time I'm going to get a half batch. Today I was really hungry and I was like, I'm going to get a full batch. So that was breakfast, lunch, and I'll just have a light snack and that will do me for the day. Yeah. Ooh, don't do that with your tooth, Kim. All right, guys, I plan to see you on Saturday. If something changes, I'll put a post up. But until then, enjoy the fall season, be healthy, be well, be blessed, and take care.